You is looking at ultimate. I told you so. All right. All these demons out here, man. You niggas gonna pay. All you niggas gonna pay. Man. All right. Book of Proverbs, chapter twelve. Start at um, Book of Proverbs, chapter twelve, verse five. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. All right, this man is wicked in every way. Want to give you a six hundred dollars stimulus check to make you feel good? All right, that's a that's a spit in your face, man. Two thousand dollars stimulus check, and then they lying to you. Then then you're gonna have to take the the, the, the vaccine or to get the the check. All right. If you don't repent, man, the Lord is gonna put some plagues on you, man. Diseases, everything, man. You know, you may not even see a light by tomorrow, man. You know, you gotta repent, man. Negroes is bad in America, man. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for the blood. All right. So they're lying and waiting for blood. That's why they keep on plotting, scheming with all these vaccines. They and you know, the Lord's putting, uh, uh, making the men of the Lord, uh, uh, you know, a uh, uh, spiritual shields to, to, to block the uh, the fiery darts of the wicked. Man. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. All right, you know, the Lord's gonna deliver us, man, out of these t uh, uh, wicked, these wicked acts, man, by way of the word first. That's why we pull this devil up everything he do, man. All right. Let's go to um let's go to Book of Revelation chapter 13. You gotta bring it out every camp lesson, man. Because it's coming, and this is the ultimate prophecy that's gonna come to pass. Okay. Chapter 13, Book of Revelation. And the, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Who's the beast? Okay, NATO and the EU. All right. The the, the democracy, the beast structure. All right. The medical the wicked medical medical system. That the image of the beast should both speak and, and, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right? If they don't worship his image, his philosophy, his, his, his ways, all right? And, and also, you don't take uh, the, the things that he say to take, you're going to be killed. All right? And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, meaning everybody on earth. All right? Physically, he's doing this. All right, and they speak it through their media all the time. So if you don't see that, they, 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 man, the Lord put you in gross darkness. These people are filled with gross darkness. All right, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that's a physical mark. That's that RFID chip, okay, which is all uh, a karagma, karagma, okay. So they physically trying to uh, make you a, a a humanoid, all right, a human android, all right. So you can't be able to exit your house without this chip. You can't be able to pay your rent without this chip. You can't be able to go to corner store without this chip. All right. You can't be able to take your school without this chip. I mean, take your kids to school without this chip. All right. You can't do anything without this mark of the beast, man. So you're gonna have to be a what? A pilgrim, an outcast of society, which is why they after the people who are against their 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 agenda, their system, their ways, man. Which is why Yahweh Shai gotta come back, man, because it's gonna be wicked. This place is too wicked, man. Now we're trying to come back with righteous to deliver the elect from this man. All right, go when we have that number to get the spiritual power. But uh, why, that's why. Why do you think you see more chariot signs and more uh, constellation of stars and and different um uh, movement of the uh, uh, of of the universe? Okay, you know you recently you had the uh the, the, the Saturn aligning line, with Jupiter, but Saturn Saturn it, it goes back is the time of what, when the elites start conjuring up their wickedness, man. All right. All right, they pray to their, their wicked deity, praying to Satan. All right, Satan is only on the left under the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. All right, but who would Satan fear? The Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine, man. He even fear uh, Mike, Mike Kala, the art, the archangel, who's like the, the Most High. Okay. So how much more us, man? We the elect. All right. This is just a test, man. All right. He calls it both all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right? That's the that's karagma. All right? And 
we trying to, we trying to, uh, uh, we want to live a life. We can't even live a life in this place, man. Without this devil uh, persecuting us every minute, every single second. You know, you can't even have your family here. You can't have your car, your house, or whatever here. You can't have a career here. This place is full of wickedness. He will always try to bring you down, man. We got to get, we need deliverance, man. We, we need to, we need deliverance. All right, this devil is too strong right now. You can't physically take this devil. You got spiritually taken down, man. By way of this word for it. That's why you got to repent, return. Wash yourself clean. Wash your mind. You know, come out of that polluted uh, mind state, man. You know, that hostile, wicked, ignorant, nigga mind state. And return to righteousness and peace and love and harmony of your how about she now shy. You know, loving your brothers like, like, like as if you would lay down your life for them, man. You know? And no man might buy ourself save he that have the mark or the number of the number of the, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So you're gonna be labeled as an Edomite if you take this mark. Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the beast, for the number is of a man, okay, which is in his uh receipt, the barcode. Okay, you that's where you will find that the barcode of the beast. And the number of, and his number is six hundred three score and six, okay? Chai Sly Stigma. Alright. Anti anti Christ. Anti anti the anti Yahweh Shai, man. If you take this beast, you're anti Yahweh Shai. And that and that's and, and, that, and, and the Lord is justified to destroy you. Alright. Um Revelation chapter 14, verse 8. And they follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. Which is America. Babylon means confusion. All right. It, it, it goes based off of uh, Babel, the Tower of Babel. That was the first Babylon. Then you had uh, Babylon, then you had Neo Babylon. You, now you have spiritual Babylon in Egypt, okay, which is America. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she had made all nations drink the wine of her wrath of, the for, of her fornication, following her philosophy, her ideologies, okay? Taking the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, okay? The Lord is going to reign what? He's going to do this. And, and the third angel followed him saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, which is NATO in the EU and the democracy and their, their wicked system, their, their credit uh, and business enterprise, their credit systems, okay? And, and his banks, especially the, the international bankers, man, beginning with the elites, the Rockchild Rockefellers, they're trying to establish this new world order, okay? Worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Okay, verse 10, the same shall drink the wine under the wrath of the Most High, Yahweh, okay, which is poured out without the mixture in the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb, all right? So the Lord is going to do this by way of his what? His nuclear missiles. And Yahweh shall come back with the holy angels, all right? That's why World War Three is going to uh, 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 spark up, all right? Right? That's why um that's why Revelation chapter nine verse twelve say um one woes past and behold the the there come two woes more after the second war will already pass this devil have bombed uh, Japan or whatever with an atomic bomb and then this is gonna we're entering the third woe this is World War Three nuclear missiles man a nuclear war. All right, as you can see in Terminator, all right, with Sarah Connor, what, what, um, what these devils did, all right, and, and um, you also gonna see that in um, uh, um, one of the Terminators when they shot all the nuclear missiles and and just bombed up everything on Earth. That's the true. That's the true message of what's gonna happen, man. All right. Book of Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5. As birds fly, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defend also, he will deliver it and pass it over and he will preserve it. So the Yahweh Shemashah is going to defend what? The elect of the nation of Israel. You people are going to get destroyed, man. Finish. Right? So let's go to 2 um, Peter. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 
Let's start at verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So Yahushua came back, two came, uh, was here 2,000 years ago, which is two days ago, in a heaven sense. All right? So it, this is the third day that we're in. All right? We're entering. So the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, okay? As some men, men um, count slackness, okay? But it's long suffering. So the we don't need no uh, a reper, reper, repercussions from this devil, man. We, we we want the promise from the Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? The promise of the blessing, the birthright, the promise of the new kingdom, okay? Uh, the promise of us being lords, you know, inheriting everything what Yahweh Shai inherited, okay? We have a we have a mission, and that's to get up on the chariots and be get new bodies and have a new kingdom established, a new heaven, a new earth, earth being refreshed, which is kindness, okay? The Lord cleaning the earth, man, you know, be, back to his original state of, of the Garden of Eden, okay? But his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, to the Lord is coming as a thief. Right? That's why we're watching constantly. That's why the scripture says, watch and let us pray. Okay? You not know the hour of the Son of Man come. Okay? In which the heaven shall pass with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay? Nevertheless, okay, I mean, uh, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything's going to be dissolved, man. Everything's going to uh, turn into basically a uh, uh, mud. Okay? The earth also and the works that therein shall be burned up. No more seeing trannies, no more uh, uh, murderers and wicked uh, 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 little niggas, okay? Wicked people, no more of that, man. No more of Esau uh, credit system and uh, taxes and all that bullshit, man. No more of that, man. Okay? Seeing seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what, pat, what per manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, so you need to repent. Okay, come back to this holy conversation, speaking uh, uh speaking according to the word of the Most High, man. All right, for you women need to keep silence in the background. You know, being uh, obedient to your man or finding the man of the Lord. Okay, to instruct you on how to be a lady. You know, wearing out weaves and, and wigs and that way, see, basically wearing dead women here, man. These devils have conjured up uh. uh these other nations, Moab especially, have conjured up those, those, those dead women here, cut them off, and basically sent them to you people. That's why the weave industry is a, a billion dollar company, man. Billion dollar in industry, sloppy. All right? Looking for a hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, where the heavens be on fire, for the Yahweh shall come with the holy angels, man. They come to do business, they're gonna put this place on fire, man. All right? This place is going on fire, man. Nuclear missiles gonna hit this place and annihilate this shit, man. We gonna be up in the chariots watching over the glass, man. You know, laughing at you people, man. You know, Lord, when we get that spiritual power to destroy you devils, man. Break you devils in two, man. All right, sick of seeing you devils rule, man. You follow than the earth, man. You know, we are gods in chains. All right, we are just waiting for the Lord just to unlock the chains and break you people. All right, sick of being a god in chain, man, in slavery, a god in slavery. That's how we. That's how it looks right now, man. All right, looking at hasten and coming the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens be on fire and be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to this promise, looking for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness. This place is wicked, man. We need righteousness to reign on this place, man. All right. I'm gonna end it out with Psalms 82 and 6. Alright? We are gods in chains. We are gods in chains. Alright? The Lord is gonna raise his men up. You people are gonna witness this, man. Alright? That's why the book of Acts corner of uh, Acts 1 and 8 said, um, let me grab it. Man, man, I'm in the spirit right now. I'm in the spirit right now. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit right now. Book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses of, of, unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and, and the uttermost part of the earth. And that's your Shai word, man. Your Shai said we're going to get spiritual power. Why? Because we, we, we put our, our, our faith and trust in him, you know? 
believe upon him. The Lord said, I'm going to bless you with spiritual power. Don't worry, bros. I, I got y'all with spiritual power, man. But I hate these devils, man. Just like y'all, you hate these devils. I hate them even more. They persecuted me and destroyed me. All right? And I'm coming back to save y'all. I'm destroying this nation. Destroying this fucking kingdom, man. All right? I'm going to end it with um, Psalms 82 and 6. You know what I want. Psalms 82 and 6. Let's start with, let's start with verse 5. They, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk in darkness. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth is out of course, man. This earth is, in, is upside down, man, full of wickedness. This earth is dark, man. The water is polluted. The air is polluted. You, you're breathing in metals. You, you don't know if you're going to live the next day or not. All right. That's why the, uh, that's why Deuteronomy uh, twenty eight sixty said that life shall hang in doubt, man, before them. All right, you have to every day you have to wake up to a wicked kingdom. All right, but why do y'all about Shemesh from waking up, up to being a Hebrew Israelite? I'd rather wake up to he being a Hebrew Israelite than waking up to being a nigger. All right, I know I'm gonna have life, man. This is the truth is the life. Yahweh Shai is life, man. According to the book of John chapter fourteen verse six, Yahweh Shai is life. Okay. Who you ignorantly call ignorantly, ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not gonna save you, man. Only your house shy Hamashiach is gonna save you. Alright? There ain't no fucking Jesus Christ, man. That that image is dead, man. That that motherfucker going to captivity. Excuse my French, man. See so boy shit, you worshiping another fucking man. Alright? Book of Psalm 82 and verse 6. All right. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. All of you are sons of the Most High. Negroes, Spanish, Native American, you're, you're gods, man. You're gods in chains. You, you got the so-called white man, who, this, this, he's basically than roaches, man. You got a roach ruling over you, man. Ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O, o power. Judge the earth, but thou shalt inherit all nations. You will have these devils in, in chains, man. All you nations. Moab, according to the, the, the nation of table, Psalms 86. Moab, beginning with head tribe, uh, the, uh, the head heathen nation, Edom, Moab, and, and uh, Elam, all you, you, Ishmael, whatever, man. You know? Places through. Alright? You know, I'm going to end it there. You know, the water y'all by Shema Shah for making me come out here, you know, and preach your word. And by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakadash. Double honor and respect go to the apostles and elders of great most of the world to spell. Peace citation to the elect, teacher and preacher of the truth, and his rights and purity necessary. Shalom, Akio. Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, and a Baba Ba. Shalom, Akio, for the strong in the spirit. And was out of here with salvation, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.